Peace, Chapter 956, my boy, big news. <laughs> big news, boy. Hey. So um, <clears throat> this chapter, clearly, like, not a whole lot of action, I would say, going on in this chapter, but definitely a whole lot of plot um, yeah. in it's... the thing. So uh, I don't know where you guys want to start. Like, we got x being confirmed as a double agent. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Um, some interesting shit with Kobe. Garp was doing some stuff in the beginning. I don't know if that was like you know review worthy. Um, and then clearly something's going on with Sabo at the Reverie, and uh, you know my nigga Big News got hands, bro. Yo, for real though. <laughs> and Diddy, <laughs> I guess CP zero. He gets busy out here. So, yeah. So I don't know. Uh, I go, the Sabo theory is the biggest part, maybe. Yeah, like there's so many places where to start. Um, yeah. Fuck. I mean, okay, like first off, just to say, I think like Garp just being in like, you know, and um, like the Mermaid Land, I think that was just kind of like the setup. All the yeah. big news that really happened. So I don't think that in itself was really a big deal. But uh, I think like the biggest thing at least in this chapter, if you want to start there, is just the abolishment of the Shichi Bukai. I mean, yeah, that, I, that's, yeah. like, like, they can go so many routes with, like, actually just trying to eliminate the system in general. Right. And, like, as you could already see, that already triggered, like, Blackbeard to start gaming. The, so, like, we don't even know how this is going to play out. You never know. Yeah. So I think the, the the nice part about that too is also like uh it was uh, Fujitora who wanted to do that right back in uh, George right. Rosa. So mm-hmm. um I mean clearly they didn't really bring him up, so maybe didn't have that much to do with this happening. But I am interested to see because it looks like I don't know how much Oda's going to go in depth with these uh, Shibukai like escaping. I'm assuming he's probably going to skip over it, but. There is likely, I'm assuming Buggy might get captured or he's going to do some like God Usopp finesse to get out of it. I don't think they ever get in their hands on Mihawk, but so definitely <laughs> think he's turning around it. Um, uh, Boa, I think she might get captured, is where I felt like they might be going with this. And um, who else? All oh, that white beard guy. I don't have any thoughts or concerns about what the fuck is going to happen to him. So I don't even want to put a theory out there because I don't care. Um, but, <laughs> but yeah, I definitely don't think they get a Mihawk. I just wonder where he's going to, like, now that this is abolished and they're kind of going to be on, like, free roam, where are these ones that aren't going to get captured by the government? Like, where are they going to go? What's Mihawk going to do? Is he going to just do what he was doing before and just, like, float around the East Blue? Or is he going to, like, um, like, is this movement going to cause him to be a part of, like, Luffy's storyline in some way, shape, or form? Um, to be honest, I, mean, I was pilot. actually looking like Mihawk might just roll again with Def and, um, what's his face? Shanks, right? So, I mean, they were already tight, so it's more that. like, why not, right? I think he's too big to join his crew, though. I don't, I wouldn't yeah. see him. I mean, he's, he's a pirate still. I like, like, I don't know what he was doing, but I assume he's gonna keep doing the same shit. Just riding but I, it seemed like he was mostly just chilling on that island, you know what I mean? Like, the only things we've ever really seen him off that island doing was when he first fought Zoro, and we didn't really get a good answer as to, like, why he was even out there anyways, you know what I mean? Like, So I think he's going to be chilling again. After he, like, because obviously they're going to fail, he's going to murk whoever tried to capture him, uh-huh. and then he's going to be chilling again. That nigga is sitting, he, he don't even worry, bro. He's just sitting on a chair, chilling. I mean, that's true. <laughs> but I think it's because, you know, I think Mihawk also likes to hunt, you know what I mean? So it's like when they all pull up on him, he's like, "Damn, you know, I haven't had to stress these muscles in a minute since yeah. like the so war." He might, he might so, fuck around, and go back to being an active pirate. No, nah, I doubt it. <laughs> that would be decent. You mean uh, like going around to different world. islands, fucking yeah, up stuff? Yeah, traveling the world, you know, trying to get on a joke or tip. Eh, I don't know about that one. Um, way too chill for all it. Yeah. No, he excited. He, he get after he got he, he got a good fight. I mean, but technically speaking, like, well, okay, so when you say pirate, do you think he would actually be a crew? Or is he just going to be more mobile doing random things? No, just things? him. It's just him. He don't, he don't oh, what about the monkeys, man? I think his island, the mon- that's also funny. Because you know the Marines pulled up on there, 
And the only thing was there giving a lot of them work. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, I forgot about those damn monkeys. The <laughs> real swordsman was just coming up there, was like, oh, we finna just run on Mihawk. He only, he don't even got a crew, right? And then you just see this gorilla with a fucking big ass sword come out of nowhere. No, no, right bro. Squad it'd, of it'd be lit. Like ninety percent of the marines. It'd be lit. It, it'd be lit if they were all, you know, ganging up on the island. And then they hit us with a Toriko Uki at the very end of it. <laughs> wow. That <was> crazy. Yeah. <laughs> the Monkey King on the island, too, probably. Yo, it's a, it's a rat. Yep. These niggas ain't ready. Uh, but yeah, anything else on the abolishment? Yeah, I definitely feel like Buggy's getting captured again. It was, I mean, we already knew Don Flamingo was in jail, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that wasn't any new information. Um, I don't, I, I guess he's gonna come back to the story in some way, shape, or form. But like, mm, I I think just showing him they weren't they weren't trying to say anything bigger than just getting his commentary on the situation. So yeah, because he was one. So yeah, they just bought him. I'm surprised yeah. they didn't show Crocodile. Honestly, that's some, that's what I was thinking. Uh, Crocodile it, it, out here it, it, reliving his life, bro. He's he's forming a real crew now. No, that key. brings that that brings up something that I just thought of though. Crocodile was arrested. For the shit that he did at Alabaster, right? Yeah. Why, was nigga, why was that nigga in a war? Why did they let him? He out? was in the war. Oh, he, he, escaped, he escaped prison with Luffy. Right. Yeah. That's why he got out. Oh, so if he escaped, why the fuck would they allow him to be there without just simply arresting him again? What do you mean? What you mean? Him? Like, like he, he dipped when everybody else dipped. Yeah. Right. Like uh, White Fish crew was able to escape, so he just he dipped. Right, but he was at the war though, wasn't he? Yeah, the yeah. W- w- Marine Forge, you mean? Yeah. So you, oh, so you're basically saying that after the war, he just slipped out of there smooth as hell. Right. Everyone else know. did. No one else got captured. Like, Marco didn't get arrested. That nigga chilling. Right. I mean, because you got to think. He was in the, they're all criminals, literally. They're all, every single one of them are criminals. So, right. like, w- Crocodile, I don't think he's more of a criminal than fucking Marco. Yeah. You know? I wouldn't like, see why they would specifically target yeah, him over yeah, anybody exactly. else that was there. Yeah, that makes sense. And they were trying to kill him. But he, Joe Flamingo was trying to kill him. Yeah. But he was, like, strong yeah, I'm pretty sure we got a scene at the end that showed him, like, you know, uh, pairing up with Mr. One, I thought. Or maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah, yep. Okay. He's doing some shit in the underworld, I think. Probably. Yeah. I can see but that. Yeah, he's been well, on the low key for a minute. He was in one of those yeah. like um one of those random panels like when when they announced something in, in about I think it was uh, when Dolphin got captured and the underworld mm-hmm. was reacting. Crocodile was yeah. one of the people I think in uh, one of those panels. Uh, okay. So before we get into the next part, um, I just gotta get this palate cleanser. You know my nigga, big news. You know I had to talk about him. <laughs> so, uh, bro, I ain't gonna part, lie. As soon as I saw that, uh. Uh-huh. There were echoes of you saying, don't sleep on him. Don't sleep on him. <laughs> don't sleep on him. I was like, oh, my God. Things, bro. <laughs> just telling things, That's all it is, man. Don't sleep on my boy Big News. That's all I'm saying. But um, I think what I do like about the Big News part, outside of the fact that uh, that nigga had hands, is um, the, like, world-building piece of it, which is just like, oh, okay, like, the news does matter in this world. Like, instead of before where we kind of just seen, like, it comes up and people... It's, like, used as a tool to just let us see old characters reacting to, like, major successes. We should we see, like, in this chapter that, no, the Marines actually do care about the news and, like, how it comes out and how things are worded and all this other stuff. And technically, it sounded like, from what he was saying, they have had an influence in the past. It's just, in this case, big news decided to, like, not listen to them, but yeah, sometimes yeah. come up and pay enough money, and then he write an article a certain way. So yeah, like I thought that was um, cool. The crocodile thing, like yeah. he didn't announce that to the world. Like crocodile was was one that was fucking about Alabaster. Only like mm. only like Luffy and them knew, and like and like um Alabaster themselves, I guess, and the world government. They right. was keeping that shit a secret. Like I guess everything else they do. Yeah. So I mean that's that's interesting because then it also means, but I. Like, it means Big News might know more about the world than we've seen, but I still, from oh, this part, I don't think he knows that much. Like, as far as, like, 
what he knows impacting the story, meaning like stuff about the Void Century and the real history. I feel like he might have like a buzz of stuff. Like he might know that there's a shadow organization in the world government. He maybe knows a name, but I don't think no, I don't it'll think be anything that. significant to the story. I don't think he knows about Emu. You don't know about what? Emu? That's that's the thing. That, that's the name, right? Of the M- is M- the Emu. little Dark King dude? Huh? The Dark King. King dude that uh Shanks met with? Is that who you talking about? The one who the Shanks, who the girls say like bowing him. to. Shanks the one that what? The girls say they bowed to him and like. Oh, that dude. Yeah, the dark, the guy that just we just saw a shadow, right? Yeah, I don't know what right. the fuck his name is. Em or Emu? I don't know. Yeah, I don't remember what they said his name was either. You just call him Shadow King or Dark King? Yeah, that's fine. I like that name, man. <laughs> Shadow King. But yeah, I thought that part was cool. Um, I'm also assuming that the guy from CP0 was not that raw. So one, they didn't say CP zero. Yeah, I was Mark gonna mention cool. that they said CP, but not CP yeah. zero. So oh, so he could have been a, a weak ass. I thought, yeah. I thought it said CP zero when I read it too, but no, nah, yeah, they said Cypher Pole. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, if it's okay. Cypher Pole, then it could be any one of their divisions. Yep. And what was CP nine was like? Uh, I don't even know. They were the I would say yeah, they before. could definitely be weak, huh? CP CP nine was the strongest before CP zero. Okay. I thought so, CP0 yeah. was always the strongest. It's just that CP0 was in the shadows. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Before, they were the strongest before we found out about CP0. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, so he could be from any random cyber pole, and it's not a real inkling of his strength just yet. We just know he got some hands. But, you know, like I always say, don't sleep on my nigga big news. Oh, I also did like that he kind of has, like, a ship in a way, too. Um... And I like his, yeah, his news cat people are kind of like his crew, so I thought that was kind of cool too. But you know, that's it. Hmm. But but let's not forget that he was shaking in his boots when Stacy was in his face though. So what? Don't forget. Don't forget I didn't hear that. that he part. Was... Anyway, so the next part ah! of the. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we uh, learn about. Let's skip the side part. Let's talk about this X Drake and. Kobe situation. Um, that part was interesting, but also a bit confusing. Um, so what I'm getting is there is a secret organization in side of the Marine government. Now the question is, who's running this? Does Garp has any involvement in this? Because well, I mean, technically speaking, they gave X Drake the the title of captain Cap- for the group. Yeah. So they right. said, like, sword captain. So technically, he should be in charge of the whole force. Right, which... No, that, that doesn't like... mean that, because the captain isn't in charge. I mean, there could still be someone above Drake. I'm pretty sure there is someone above Drake. Uh, maybe, like, the, oh, the person who actually captain created the organization. Of... I mean, like, fine, but... I mean, it as far as, like... In terms of the Marines, though. Like, huh? Marine um, hierarchy structure, too. Right. I'm pretty. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that they're it's referring to like the Marines, um, uh, like class. Yeah. So if it's captain, he's definitely not up or there. Even, but I don't or know even if, if or even if like. No, oh, never mind. Yeah. yeah no, but I mean, well, I mean, okay. So like, look at Kobe though too. So like the first panel is you're saying like Marine HQ, top secret special forces, sorry, Captain X Drake. Then we go to Kobe. And it says Marine HQ Rear Admiral mm-hmm. and Sword Member Kobe. But I, so I see Member as his title in the Sword Organization and Rear Admiral as his like Marine title. Yeah. Correct. Right. That no, 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 no. I mean, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, okay. like, like the, the actual like person in charge of Sword is X Drake, <laughs> minus maybe the person that probably created Sword. Period. I'll give yeah, you yeah. that. And that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So no, so I've actually pulled up the thing online, the recruit thing. So they do have a captain thing in there, in the marine hierarchy. Yeah. Um, it's actually two positions below a rear admiral, and a rear admiral is the position right below a vice admiral. Just to give you guys like perspective. Correct. So. Wow. With that, that means that there is probably higher ranking members in here. It just means that in terms of sh- I'm guessing in terms of strength, they're saying well, that X Drake is stronger than. Well, this brings up something that I was uh, that I was definitely gonna uh, say in regards to this. 
if you go to the uh, the, the opening page for chapter 592, you can see that. Uh, Damn, what we going to... back? Five hundred ninety-two. <laughs> what? That's, that's no, so video, this man. this was this was brought up when I was watching somebody else's video. Oh, I mean, uh, hold on. Before uh, you get into that, I just had to say for one second though, you definitely said five ninety-two. Like niggas just had that ready to open. Bro. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. That like that's definitely a Google search for that five for that page. <laughs> That's true. Oh, you said 592? 592. All right, go ahead. Yeah, if you go to the opening page for it, it should be um, Akainu and somebody else, right? That's that, that's Kizaru. Now, look at the shoulder, uh, the tattoo on Akainu's shoulder. Okay. What is it? Oh, that's what you meant. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, little, yeah, that's a little flower. The flower no, 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 he's talking about the other shoulder. You said 592? Oh, yeah, sword? yeah, it's mm -hmm. a sword. See, I, did, I, I highly disagree with that, though. Yeah, because I, I, I don't I see the alignment with um, a candle is definitely not in the sword. I don't see how he's yeah. being in sword when Kobe is the guy that's supposed to be like he's a good, a good guy, he's not fucking, so but yeah. Yeah, I assume all the Sword members are people like them, where they're like. But he might have been a member, a former member of Sword, mm -hmm. former the person that started it. No, I'm, I'm thinking. I don't even think Akainu knows about Sword. Mm -hmm. If Akainu knew about Sword, like I don't. Well, think I mean, well, time out. Lie, I mean, he, you don't think like the head admiral, like literally the uh, admiral, yeah, knows yeah. about it though? No, I think it's like. So if you watch, if you, I could be wrong, of course, but if you watch like um, Marvel, when um. Mm -hmm. When um, what's the what's the uh, fuck? Uh, what Nick Fury? Yeah, when like when they were like when they um, what's the uh, Nazis? They had Red Skull and them. What, what are they? What are they called? Hydra. Yeah, when Hydra was in, in yeah. was infiltrated Shield, but nobody knew. I think that's what what Sword is. Sword is like a in, in a thing inside the Marines that niggas just don't really know about. That's what mm -hmm. I'm I'm taking it to be as like it's a secret. It's a secret thing that only some people know. And I don't even think, I think it might be, I think I would maybe God might I would think Akainu would be privy to it. Here's no, why, I, here's I why I could be. see Akainu being privy to it, but not having as much control is because the Gorosei is still a thing. So my thing is that a member of the Gorosei could be the person actually leading S.W.O.R.D. And that could just happen to be like one good member of the whole group. Like we've seen that they've at least opened the door to talking to Shanks. So to me, that means like their alliances, allegiances, all that stuff, we're not super clear on yet. So for me, I felt like as a head admiral, he might be aware of it, but not have the finesse of it because I think the Marines should still technically answer to the Goro say. You feel what I'm saying? So like I I I could see it. I get I agree that it it also seems like maybe he, it's better if he doesn't know anything about it. It but I also could see it the other way where it's still a splinter organization. He knows about it, but he just can't make any call any shots because it's somebody higher of him that actually runs the shit. I mean, somebody higher than him doesn't have to run it either. I mean, or even, or even said Goku could have been the one to start it, right? And then because my thing is like, what's happening right? About it. What's happening right now with them is like their information gathering. So nothing they're doing right now to me seems like anything that's against um, the marine intentions. You feel what I'm saying? No, like, I think it's... They're infiltrating an organiz a evil organization, getting information about a Yonko, and they're about to now capture uh, a Shib Shibukai. So, like, I don't see anything where I go, like, oh, this is, like, totally somebody on the good side running this organization. The only way I feel like I know a Kanu doesn't have any... Um, hand in this is if I find out that Garp is a part of this, which so, I'm thinking is true. Yeah, if I, I find I, out I would, that Garp's a part of this, then I go, yeah, Kanu definitely is, has no I would thing definitely in this. Toward, towards Garp. And even then, because Kanu was like, we don't know what's going on in, in Wano. We don't know how strong these guys are. We don't know like Wakato and them doing. If Drake's been there for a long ass time, yeah. Kanu would know that. If He would know. He would have all this information if... um. Because Drake's been there for, for a, a while. So if he, if he was reporting to Okanu, Okanu would know all that information, you know? Yeah. But I don't see... And then if... And how they're not going to... The Marines aren't going to Wano at all. If, mm -hmm. if Okanu knew about it, I think 
he definitely would send someone if if he knew that Big Mom and Kaido were making an alliance. Yeah. I mean, I think the two pieces here that's going to tell their intention is, like like I was saying earlier, one, if Garp is here, and two, also this thing with Boa. So, to me, if, like, Kobe arresting Boa is basically going to be like a, hey, if I'm arresting you so we basically can, like, put you in hiding or something like that, versus, like, if we let the Marines actually get you, some other shit will happen to you, then I know for sure, like... All right, this I don't know who's running this. That's what I think I'm curious about because now I think we've confirmed that like Drake is not the leader. He is just like a higher tier member in the organization. I'm assuming Kobe. If Kobe's in it, I'm also assuming that um that other guy is in it. Um, uh, the yeah. swordsman dude, and then no, because no. those people were trained by Garp, my assumption is Garp is also in this, which is why he picked. He handpicked like um, those two to do it, and we've kind of seen this with the Marines as an organization that they have these like subgroups or splinter cells of people that they choose to like. They just don't take the normal path of being a Marine, like the CP9s, um, Kizaru's like nephew or whatever the fuck he is. Like that guy also was like an oddity. He's like a Marine, but like it doesn't seem like he took the normal path. It seemed like a higher level Marine was like, "Cool, I'm taking you under my wing." So and that's kind of what happened to Kobe and them. So because of that, I'm I don't see them joining a splinter cell without Garp being a part of it or knowing about it. It just doesn't make sense to me. Hmm. Well, yeah, I would think Garp knows about it. I would make that. I would assume so. But, but yeah, yeah, I'm I'll, curious like said, what their plan the is with Boa. Well, I think the Boa thing. I think that's just the normal Marine because. They're they're trying to take they're trying to capture all the all of them anyway. Yeah, but so I, I feel like Kobe saying he's doing that is was also like a this is a part of like my sword mission as well, like getting her. And the thing is like Boa <laughs> has been like aligned with Luffy. Um the Marines kinda and Luffy kinda. So I don't I don't know how much of like Boa's allegiances is known to like Garp side of things. You know what I mean? Like so- so if it comes only thing to, I like, can see happening is that yeah. they, like, they, they don't know, right? But then when Kobe goes to capture her, first off, if Kobe can capture her, that's kind of bullshit. I feel like you shouldn't be able to. But anyway, if he goes to capture her and then she starts talking about Luffy, and then he's going like, oh, you know Luffy? And then... Mm-hmm. Is oh, Boa that cold, though? Do Are we putting that on? Yeah. Like that? No, she is. She's low-key, but she is. I got to refresh myself on her. I mean, I, I just can't see Kobe. Kobe? I mean... I guess he's a rear admiral. I guess he, he got a promotion. No, I mean they've sure. always used Bo as a gimmick because you know that whole beauty thing. So she's finessed most of her fights with the beauty thing, and then the stone thing's pretty cold. And she's had hockey early on because of um, that's where Luffy learned about the existence of hockey was from her place. But I'm talking about like I don't know. I haven't. I don't remember her serious fights. I think she might have had one or two in the Marine Port arc. No, she hasn't was. had a ton. She fought again. She got fought against like pacifistas. That's about it, really. Oh, okay. I mean, she took out a pacifista, I think, if I remember. Right. Yeah, which I think Kobe can't do that. So I mean, again, I don't know. But in any case, I think she's also in a. I never saw it, but I think she's in a One Piece movie where they showed her out a little bit though too. Mm-hmm. But in any case, no, I've always had respect. I mean, like she's got hands, like just straight up. Yeah. Well. Oh. Also, now I'm I'm starting to think they might recruit this nigga Smoker into that too. Oh, I can see that. If he's not already in this. No, I can't be. Not now. But to be honest, actually, let's pause for a second. Like, what I think it would have been revealed is, a while ago. For what? I mean, like, what do y'all well, think really about is like the main focus well, of Sword? You said what? I was saying, like, what do y'all think really is, like, the main mission of S.W.O.R.D.? Like, what, what do you think is, like, the... My guess is it's something that, that, more that aligned to great. good because yeah. of uh, Akainu's le- leadership is more militant and evil. So mm-hmm. I felt like there's, like, if a co- if Aokiji ended up being a leader, I would say that S.W.O.R.D. was definitely run by Akainu and they doing some evil deeds. But we've already seen, like, it seems like we have two evil organizations in the Marines. The Marines itself, run by Kanu, and then CP, whatever the fuck, who also seem to be on some other shit. So Sword seems to be like the counterbalance to that, in that they're still trying to do good things. That's my guess from the members I see of it, because I don't 
see Kobe joining something like that without it uh, being something of good. And I also don't yeah, see exactly. X-Ray joining that without it being something of good because he seemed to have left the Marines, quote unquote, for the same reasons that Dragon probably left the Marines. Like, he saw some corruption, didn't enjoy it, so he's like, fuck, I'm being a pirate. Like, so those Bro, two members being in there, I'm assuming it's something on good, huh? No, he didn't need the Marines. Well, yeah. now we know he didn't, but the, the yeah. story that was or, told or maybe, before we oh, yeah. figured this maybe out it is, was maybe that. The Marines still is separate than Sword, so he, he maybe, maybe he didn't. He did leave the Marines, I guess, since it yeah. might be separate. Who knows? Didn't they say ex members still? When they showed us? Yeah. No, they said Marine HQ, top oh, no, secret special forces. So well, the know. thing is, Cypher Paul, Aegis Zero, is kind of mm-hmm. like the shield because Aegis means shield. So with this being another secret division called S.W.O.R.D., it's kind of like they're both working in their own different different worlds as secret divisions of the world government. <clears throat> yeah. When you say yeah. that, now I have to think a little bit deeper because I didn't even make that correlati- correlation between the S.W.O.R.D. and S.H.I.E.L.D., if we were looking at their behaviors, my guess then would be that they should be more um, active than CP0 in terms of like what the name means, right? If they're sword meant to protect, CP0 seems to have its hands in a lot of different shit. And like that's kind of it. Like they monitor and they're just like, all right, but they don't, we haven't seen them take action in any of the stories yet, right? They've always just been there. True. And then the sword organization. Well, if x Drake is the one that helped Law get freed, it looked like they the types of niggas that's taking action. So, I don't know. I, I'm very curious on the purpose of this war. Well, I feel like the CP0 does a lot more underground type of shit. They deal a lot more in the uh, illegal dealings of the world and everything. Yeah. Yeah, they be, they like assassins and like the niggas be killing people and doing that type of shit and bribery, I'm sure, as he tried to do. So they do all the evil shit, and then probably sword does all the good shit. Hmm. All right. Now I guess we just got to see more exploits. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, and now we, we know they exist. Time. No, I think we're gonna definitely get a little bit more in this arc. We have to in the Wano arc because whatever X Drake does here will let us know what the intentions of Sword are, and right. if that's like. It seems like it's gonna be in the form of like helping bullshit stop happening. So oh, I'm assuming I he's think, gonna align with Luffy and them. I think this arc is gonna go for a, uh, a much longer time. We about to enter the third act, are we not? Yeah, this like, is only the third act. I don't know how much act. time he's gonna spend on Reverie, but we about to enter the third act of Wano whenever we get back to it. So that should be it. That's the wrap. I, I think the third act. Oh, is no, be it's four acts. Oh, oh, four acts. I think there's four acts. Well, I think I still, before Wano is done, I think it's going to be a while. I mean, like, mm. you think another two like, years? Maybe or a year. Because like, if, they, if they're planning this big ass war, that alone is going to be hella chapters, is what I'm thinking. I'm and, curious at how long Marine Ford, the build up to Marine Ford was then. Like, impel, I would say Impel Down to Marine Ford, how long that arc was in the manga terms. You can probably look it up. Yeah, and then one thing, and then like, cause he kind of rushed. I mean, I was I didn't was on the call last week, but he kind of rushed through like the last chapter, right? Like usually yeah. Oda doesn't do that. He just he started counting down days like day four, day three, day two, day one. Yeah, and I mean he might just be trying to get to the shit because it's gonna be a minute. I don't know, but I, yeah. I feel like it's gonna be a while. I mean Luffy's crew gotta show up. His like his subordinates yeah. and all that stuff. I don't know. There's a lot I think that has to happen. He's probably just trying to make sure that he actually has something special uh, come out on Chapter 1000. So he, was, 1000. He, was probably, he was probably like, oh, damn, these days are going a little bit too slow. I'm going to mess around and not be able yeah. to get to the point. So. Right. I mean, sure, Chapter 1000 is still a year away. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, anything else on S.W.O.R.D.? If not, we can talk about the last part, Sabo. Yeah, let's do it. And, and, and Vivi. Vivi might be dead. Oh, I mean, come on. We don't care about VV, do we? Still? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> in the game? I don't. To be honest. Um, but yeah, the Sabo thing. So I've been hearing some mumblings of different things. Uh, either Sabo's dead, um, no. arrested, or like, I don't know, somehow finesse things. I don't buy the Sabo's dead theory because I think Definitely not dead. the react, first of all, that would make bigger news. CP0 wouldn't care about. Um, trying to shut that shit down 
You know what I mean? With big news, like if they had the news that Sabo died, that is great news for the Marines because they like, oh, we took out a high ranking member of the Revolutionary Army. Also, if he was arrested, I think that would also be big news too to spread around as we arrested a high ranking member of the, the whatever, the whatchamacallit. So I honestly think he just did something major and was able to finesse his way out of it. That's my bet. But um, I'm I think still curious I think because it seems like, like the reverie still cool. went on, but that shit happened. So I don't know at what point in time Sabo did whatever Sabo did. It had to be after is my guess because apparently we're still able to like have a reverie, abolish the Shibukai system, and then Sabo did some shit. But yeah, I, mean, he might I don't kill like sure. kill like a uh, celestial or something. Or but yeah, he's not dead. There's no like, there's no way he's dead. Not at all. Well, it has to be. It has to be something that would make everybody be thinking, "What the fuck, Sabo? Him? He did but this?" But I felt like their reactions yeah. were all just, "He's alive," you know, because no one else got that info yet. So a lot of oh, people yeah. that I saw, like the mom and shit, I'm assuming that. Her vibe, like the person that trained the three of them or whatever, or they live with her, mm-hmm. her vibe seemed more like, oh, that nigga's alive. Like, I didn't know he was alive. No, but the thing is, why was Dragon sweating when he saw whatever the news was about Sabo? And he was like, hold on, hold on. We got to confirm this shit, bro. I mean, for that's example, what, if he killed the Celestial, that's a, that's a reason to sweat. That means, yeah. like, the entire Marines going to really come after them niggas. I mean, you say that, but at the same time, we're still talking about the Revolutionary Army, who was, like, the number one on the hit list anyway. So, I mean, how much more are they really going to get towards Sabo than they already have? A lot. I mean, if, look, when, um, look, look at when, um, um, when Luffy punched the punch buddy, right? I mean, they, all that, they did all that shit just because of a punch. I mean, if, and then if, if somebody killed one, I mean, I'm just saying, like, throwing some shit out there, like, for reasons why he's not dead. I mean, I, just, I don't think that he's dead. That's that's all I'm saying. Oh, well, I mean, I, well, we're all in agreement that Sabo's not dead. But, right? like that, that's that, the only thing that, I can that, think that. of that would be, would would um have a big reaction. Like he did. But then I still go with something bad to the point where everyone's like surprised, like, oh shit. Ultimate plot twist: Sabo is a celestial dragon now. Wow. Yeah. Wow. But I think Dragon would have Dragon would have known about Sabo's royal lineage, so that shouldn't be a surprise to him. But the Ivankov's comment is what I'm reading right now, and that's where it's making it hard to predict what really happened. She's saying this is Sabo we're talking about. This is impossible. I refuse to believe it. So that leads me to believe he does something out of character or died, right? And mm-hmm. we're already pretty sure he didn't die. But the out of character thing... I don't know if, yeah, like uh, Juggle was saying, I don't know if it seems out of character for him to like take out a celestial. I think we don't even know though that's character. major. And then we see the chick, the fishman karate chick, looks like she's about to cry, which is more confusing. So I don't know if it has something to do with Kuma in a way. Like, like he, like he killed Kuma or some shit. Yeah, maybe. Um, that would actually make a lot more sense considering that. Uh, he could probably no. have uh, went to Kuma and was like, hold on, you ain't the Kuma I know. I mean, I, I just mean, see him doing it, but that's the thing that's making the news. No, no, no way. I mean, not based on, like, how the family members are reacting. I wouldn't say that. Well, the family, they didn't, um, were they, did they look upset? Like you said, they seem to be, like, kind of happy almost, right? Yeah. I, I think everybody else besides the Revolutionary Army, their reactions were all... I found out Sabo's alive. That's what I'm yeah, focused yeah. on. And, I mean, it's um, a, well, I mean, the, the word, Revolutionary it, Army is the key to what he actually did, I think. Well, I mean, well, okay, it might be... I could see that if there's a problem with translation, but, like, how I'm reading effing, um, like, Big Girl with, like, the cornrows, like, how they yeah. worded it was, we just found out he was alive. Sabo, mm-hmm. please tell me this is some kind of joke. Like, why would they say, tell me this is some kind of joke if they're just, like, so yeah, happy he's, he's alive? alive? Mm-hmm. I mean, they yeah, wouldn't like, say, tell me this is some kind of joke, though, right? Oh, uh, I guess you, I see you what, what I'm saying. It's like, it's like, tell me this is some kind of joke. That means you're reading sad or just really effed up news. You wouldn't yeah. be like, super happy and then say, tell me this is some kind of joke. But I, I mean, think, oh, but you also got to think, think I, about her, though. 
she is Garb's friend. So okay. she's Garb's friend. So Luffy became a pirate. She probably pissed off about that. Ace also became a pirate. She's pissed off about that. She's probably finding out that Sabo is a revol- revolutionary, which she's probably like, come on, bro. Three kids and none of them became Marines? Like, oh, please I tell see. me this is some kind of joke. Like, I could see it that way as well. Well, did she know that he, did she not know he was a revolutionary before that? No, she, she didn't. didn't know Sabo was alive. She thought that nigga died. So now she finds out he's alive, and she finds out he's not even a, he's with the Revolutionary Army, a so high-ranking that. member in that. I can so see when that. it says in the in the in the corner, we just found out he was alive. Yeah. When did she find that out then? So he said we Probably just found out he's war, alive. But not the war. The um, what's gonna call it? The Flamingo. Just Rosa, maybe. Yeah, it would have. I don't even know how right? that would have got to the news though. Yeah, I, I don't think that was in the news or anything. So yeah, no, I don't think so. Okay, so so I looking at I'm looking at the Viz translation, right? Which is supposedly more accurate, I guess. And okay. so they're saying say it ain't so instead of instead of please tell me this is some kind of joke. So however you want to take that. Yeah. So if it's say it ain't so, then I definitely align with my revolutionary army theory that she's just mad that he's a revolutionary. Yeah. And even their Garth faces is the one who drop like, these niggas off, huh? Yeah, they, they don't look like at least to me, it like, doesn't look like a mourning, crying face. Like, yeah. you know? Like, One Piece, they look like the typical, like, One Piece, like, um, crying that they do when, like, something, like, someone they know is still alive or some shit like that. Yeah. Hmm. Somebody probably, uh, are, they're framing the, they're framing Sabo. Uh, they probably have a bunch of fire over this whole village or whatever. They probably, you know, burn the whole village down and they have Sabo in the background making him look menacing, making it seem like he just burned a whole fucking village all by himself using the new uh, devil fruit that he has from Ace. Oh, and I can see making, that. And they're probably making him look like a devil now and say, basically saying, all right, you know, this is what the Revolution Air Army is, you know, basically doing. They're the equivalent of, of the worst pirates and so forth. So we got to make sure that, you know, kill on sight and all of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's 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 something that I can easily see everybody having the same reaction from. Then I guess my last question with that one would be why would I want that to be the case then? Why would what? again? Your voice went out. Because I mean, like, so like all the news we're seeing, or at least a part of the news we're seeing, we can say that the government didn't want it to get out, right? Mm-hmm. So like so, what do we think is the part that we they didn't want to get out? Because I feel like that Sabo story would be aligned with what they would want. Right. Probably the I part about probably the part about Alabaster, because that that's based. They, remember they have multiple pieces of news that they True. had from the from Reverie that um, that's being released on no, that day. I, this is why I think something Sabo had to the the Celestial Dragon theory might be better because it. If, I still think it's a piece of Sabo news that they don't want out. It's what he did. Because I well, don't think... Somebody is dead. Because Big News said there was a killing or mortality or, some, or fatality, is what mm. he said. So somebody is dead. We don't know who it is. Um, we don't think it's Sabo. Um, so I, you can cross that one out. So. But we said that something happened to Vivi, right? Is that what you said? Yeah, yeah. So Either Vivi had- or, or her dad, Cobra. I think it's really so if that's the case, they back. might be framing the murder on Sabo. Mm-hmm. And that's what niggas is acting wild yeah, about. Yeah, like, the revolutionaries yeah. might that be reading sense. that and saying, we know that Alabaster is not bad, so why would Sabo do this? Sabo's a good guy. He wouldn't kill someone. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so then, we yeah. just unpack that. Yeah, that make some hey, sense. somebody better give us all awards, bro. We just broke that shit down. Yeah, we really did, though. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think yeah. I feel like that's it. They they probably pinned um whatever happened to the Alabaster family on. See, and y'all was saying, and you were saying you didn't care about Vivi. That unlocked the whole story. Didn't he? Uh, did he sneak in with them in that beginning chapter? Um, was it them or was it? The, it was with somebody. I don't know if it was them or if it was like the other group. Yeah, you I forgot. Keep real with them? Them? You want me to keep it real though? What, what? M-, M Sama did have a picture of yeah, multiple I, people's bounties, and he kept the one with Vivi on it. Vivi, so he yeah, probably yeah, and, and then, captured her and made it seem like she was killed. 
No, the she party party did kill her because the girl say was like, "Who do you want us to? Who, what oh yeah, you want us to snuff out of this world?" Oh yeah, the, the sacrifice. Yeah, and then he had he had Vivi's picture in his hand, so he yeah. probably he probably ate her ass, bro. Ooh. Wow. Yep. He's a, he's a low key demon from Promise Neverland. <laughs> <laughs> and then it, it also would, would kind of make sense, like like they didn't they didn't really show like um anyone from Alabaster because I mm. assume if they did they might know what really happened. I don't know, but because they if they did sneak in with with um with uh Sabo, they know that Sabo was good. Right? Yeah. So and I would think if something really happened to Vivi, they would at least show her that. Well, they didn't, because that would probably be a giveaway. True. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Uh, one last high take theory. Uh, I see Blackbeard. It seems like he's gonna go pick up some Shibukai before the Marines. Uh, I'm just gonna throw this out there. I think next time we see Blackbeard's full crew, a Buggy might be up in that motherfucker. <laughs> 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 I feel like that might be his finesse to escape, because I don't uh... see who else. He would try to capture, um, unless he's gonna eat their fruit. So like, yeah, Gecko I mean, Moria, I, mean, I don't know what's happening with Gecko Moria right now. Yeah, I don't think a, they show. He's a he's a Shichub- Shikubaka or however however you say. It. He's not one of them anymore. Oh, he's not. No, yeah, he was Moria. removed after the war. Yeah, because he was too weak. Oh my bad, well, I missed that part. But yeah, so other than that, the list of people, he's definitely not getting Mihawk. And for what we know right now, we're going under the assumption he don't have a fruit. So there's no value in getting Mihawk unless he's going to. Get Boa, that would be the other one, but I don't know why he would want that fruit either. So I just felt like he's gonna randomly bump in the buggy, boom, that nigga's just gonna do his buggy finesse and get under his crew. And then I mean, I feel like, I feel like thing. um, Blackbeard is, is, is smart though, Blackbeard isn't dumb, like, he he knows buggy is a weak, nigga. do yep. we? <laughs> I mean, the fruit do itself, we? Really like laugh? to play up the laughs, they will definitely let him think that buggy was wrong. <laughs> You know Oda like to play up the laughs, bro. He would definitely allow Buggy to like meld into it. And plus, you know, Buggy got some decently strong niggas around him. He got the leftovers of, imp- of the Impel Down escapees. Yeah. Black like Bill will take them niggas and say, fuck you, fuck you, Buggy. No, Buggy got, the weak, Buggy got the weak niggas from Impel Down, not the strong That's why I said the leftovers. Like all the absolute strongest niggas either A, went and did their own shit, which I don't know if they confirmed or not, or B, joined Blackbeard's crew. And then the, everyone else, like, ran free. And then there was a good group of them that was probably, like, they wasn't level six niggas, but they was probably, like, Beast Hell, maybe the one after that niggas. Some of them joined Buggy Crew. So them niggas is all right. Pretty time skip, all right, yeah. I mean, come on, bro. You can't say, like, when we talk about growth post time skip, I don't, do you really see the people... Power wise is growing. My that isn't like the supernovas. What do you mean? Say it again. Like when we talk about post time skip, I get that you can grow in terms of like sass, status and influence, but I'm talking about like uh, person abilities. Like you think Shiliu got like stronger necessarily. We know he has a new power now, so that's stronger technically, but I'm talking about skill stronger significantly since pre post time oh, no. skip. No, so that's what I'm saying. So I'm just like, oh, okay, yeah. They, their general strength is still kind of the same. Yeah, and that's and that's why I'm saying Boogie's crew is trash because he didn't have the strong niggas to begin with. He had oh. like the, he, he didn't have the bottom floor niggas. Remember? Because black. But, I mean, I look in East Blue terms, Buggy up there, he top tier. Well, yeah, facts, big facts. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So Man, he brought the second mean, second strongest nigga to come from East Blue ever. Oh yeah, Luffy the first, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, no, I lied because then can't we technically say is Dragon and Garp also East Blue niggas? They no pirates. Cause that drop them a few pegs. I don't count them. They no pirates. Oh, all right, yeah, yeah. But they always used to say that East Blue was the weakest in the ocean. True. So That's like, true. Money, but he's the strongest money. nigga of the weakest, bro. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really. yeah, but uh, I, don't, I don't know. I wonder. Gonna, I don't know what it is. I think it's fruits, though. I think he's gonna try and. Yeah, fruits that she like. I, I don't know. It just doesn't. I can see that, but I'm trying to think about strategically of these shibukai that we have out here. Whose fruit does he want? That's why I go like, he's probably he might still get a fruit. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like because of the buggy thing, 
one of two things going to happen in a buggy. He's going to get captured and it's going to get played for laughs, or he's going to escape and it's going to get played for laughs. So for him to escape the Marines, we already know he's a goofy. He can't escape them on his own. The best thing would be, oh, Blackbeard run through and realize, oh, shit, it's buggy, and he just block. oh, okay, well, I'll, I'll join up. And then so that's again, it. the Viz one said, if, if the Navy's only going to take it, they didn't say anything about they or them. Oh, uh, okay. So I don't yeah. know again. He's, tra- he's trying to get that, that devil fruit off Sabo, man. Oh, Come I on, hear huh? if they're going to get picked up by the Marines, I'll just grab um first. That's what I yeah. have in and that, the Yeah, that's my stream. But then the Viz is like, if the Navy's only going to take it, I might as well claim mm-hmm. the prize, which m- would make more sense to be the fruit, specifically maybe the, the fire fruit or whatever. Oh, uh, okay. Well, then, yeah, if he's going after Sabo again, then it is what it is. I don't know why you niggas so thirsty for this fire fruit. I get it. It's cold. <laughs> But I'm like, damn, bro. If Al Keys got an ice fruit, y'all niggas don't want to run the hands with him. They don't. Uh, okay, <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> okay, right? but I'm saying he out here solo dolo. Like we running against a nigga with a whole revolutionary army, bro. Uh, Al Keys is just like skating on ice right now. Like That's you how were cold sitting there. Yeah, a nigga is just on a bike, an ice bike right now. Y'all niggas can run his fan at any time. Like if you really want a logia fruit, shit, he might be part of um. A sword, too. Sword? Really, to this day. I think that would actually be lit if he was, though. Because I, I could yeah. see someone like him being uh, a leader of that. Well, mm-hmm. I don't see him being a leader because I don't know what type of instructions he would necessarily give. But I can see him see being a part of the organization and answering to somebody. And a, a few, like, a while back, I think they were, like, alluding to that Al KG is dealing with, like, underworld niggas. Well, he might yeah. be, like, undercover, like, like Drake. Doing the same shit. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Hmm. Um, all right, yeah, that's it. Uh y'all ready to rate this one? All right. Um, I'm definitely gonna give this uh decent as hell. For a one piece chapter with no action, I can't give it a lit. But as far as what it's done to the story, theory crafting and like Getting us back to the reverie, I'm going to give it a decent as hell. But I'm going to have to put a minus on it because I felt like Oda wasted our time with the past few chapters of Wano. And he could have gave us this first and just went back to Wano. Uh, It depends on if he's going to continue with this story in the next chapter. But if we go back to Wano after this chapter, I'm going to be like, you definitely could have just like gave us this earlier and then done all that lame ass Wano shit. Afterwards, well, and close well, the arc. Based on a trend that we've been seeing, he uh, gives us some stuff from the rest of the world between each between uh, acts. each act. Uh, but I just hate that he started off with the oh, like let's rewind the clock back again. I'm like, bro, just like you could just gave us this shit in Wano, like instead of wasting our time with this these fights that we didn't even get to see. What do you mean, give us it in Wano? What do you mean? Like, in the, these past three chapters of the Wano arc, I felt like could have either been wrapped up into one chapter or he could have just gave us this chapter we got today before he gave us those three lame-ass chapters. Did you not think the last, the last uh, one we shot was good? You said what? Did you, how did you feel about the last chapter when Zoro got his, like, power or whatever? I did the enjoy chapter. the fact that he got that power up, but I felt like that was the substance of that chapter. Okay, okay, so, yeah. and that happened in the first two to three pages. That definitely could have get got condensed down to like Zoro getting that new sword. Like they spent two chapters like talking about Enma, but they really could have done like this is what Enma is. Give it to Zoro, do the sword slice in one chapter, and they split that up. It felt like in two or three chapters, if I remember correctly. Yep. Between that and the, like, not seeing the Law versus Basil shit, I felt like all of that stuff was kind of a waste. It, that All of that stuff could happen in, in one or two chapters instead of, like, four or five. Mm, that's fair. But, yeah, it's still decent as hell, this chapter. I just have to put that minus on it because I felt like the pacing was off, in my opinion. Hmm. Yeah, I will go next. I'll I'll just give it a straight decent as hell, just regular. Um, the info was good. The hype, the setup is good. Got the mind thinking. Got the mind like scheming, theorizing, etc. And uh, definitely um, world build. Well, not world building per se, but definitely plot building. 
So it's going to be um, it's, it's going to be interesting to see how this all plays out. Really, what did you give it? A decent? No, a decent as hell. Just regular. Oh, okay, okay. Oh. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh wait, wait. Before we before we toss that right now, one question that came to mind: When do y'all think the Drake thing happened? What do you um, mean? That Drake phone call, because this was back in time, correct? No, I don't. Think uh, it's kind of weird because it's been jumping back and forth, but I think it's present day. Yeah, I don't think that call is is um is back in time because if if the alliance just happened between uh-huh. Big Mom and and um and Kaido, it couldn't be that couldn't really be ten years ago like the other stuff. Right. Okay. Yeah, because um basically. Oh, and, if, yeah, they actually said they said present day somewhere at sea. Yeah, and, and the thing is, right, um, cool. if Kobe's getting ready to attack to attack uh, what, what's her name? Hancock, it has to be after the rumor that they're right. having a conversation. Okay. I just want to make sure. I missed that part of the chapter then. All right. Yep. Um, I'd also give it a decent as hell. Uh, I thought about decent as hell plus, but I'll just leave it a decent as hell. But um, honestly, these are, to me, like these are generally the best One Piece chapters. I don't think One Piece chapters are the, the, the best chapters in One Piece aren't the ones with action. It's the ones that that either reveals some kind of information or or a hype for something. Like the fights themselves usually aren't a highlight in 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 One Piece, you know? Uh so why not give this a lit then? Ooh. I'm thinking about it. I don't know. That's why I said it's close to a decent as hell plus, but it ain't there yet. Uh-huh. Um you know, I'll give it a decent as hell plus. Fine. Since you want since you want to give me a better rank. I'll give it a decent as hell plus. <laughs> Worst of Yeah, it, it was it was the best chap one piece chapter at least I feel like in a year. Mm. Yeah, I was basically gonna give it a decent to sale right off the bat with all of the information that we've been given, with all of the hype and, and mysteries that that are behind this chapter. I'm looking forward to the mm-hmm. to what they have coming up. 